Hey guys, what's up? It's the HD Tech Buzz here today, and I'm here with another Computer Basics episode. Today I'm going to be talking about RAM. R-A-M. Stands for Random Access Memory. Alright, so now you know what it is. See you later. Nope, just kidding. I'm going to talk about it a little bit more. I mean, that's kind of obvious. I mean, I'm not going to leave you there. But anyway, if you want to see my previous episode on what is a CPU, go ahead and check it out. Remember, I'll have tons more of these out, or as many as I can think of. So anyway, today, RAM, like I said, Random Access Memory. This allows you to, RAM is like memory that allows temporary data to be stored. So what the heck do I mean by this? Well, this kind of means like, if you have a program open, it's temporarily storing the data it's using on the RAM. I know it's kind of hard to explain this. Basically, RAM is like a temporary hard drive, I guess you could say. It's not even so much even a hard drive. I mean, it doesn't store programs. It doesn't store the actual program, the file on the RAM. It stores your actions. It, uh, it holds open tasks. I guess you could say, open programs and other things running like the system kernel, and I might talk about what the kernel is and something else. It, you know, the RAM is um, is holding all this temporary data. It's volatile memory, which means that if you turn your computer off, you're going to lose it. So if you have a program open, when you turn your computer off, you're going to lose it, right? It's going to, you know, close out and you're going to have to shut down your computer. Non-volatile memory is like your hard drive, which means it will retain the information even when your computer's off. So that's kind of how I could explain it. I mean, it's volatile memory memory. It just stores currently open tasks. If you close that program, it's no longer stored in the RAM because it's just, it was temporary data. It was an open program. I guess that's how I could uh, explain it. So the more RAM, the more programs you can have open at once. I mean, that's kind of common sense after I just explained that. So my computer has 16 gigs of RAM and I do this because I video edit. I edit with Final Cut Pro and Adobe After Effects. I use Adobe After Effects for visual effects, which I have a visual effects channel. It's called Plump Puppy Films. <laughs> Plump Puppy Films. If you want to go check it out, I have a link way down at the bottom of the description and also on my channel of the HD Tech Buzz. And I like this because with 16 gigs of RAM, I can actually keep Final Cut Pro, which is one editing studio open in one window and Adobe After Effects open in the other. So the more RAM, the more programs. And video editing requires a lot of RAM. The more RAM, the better. Average computers have 4 to 8 gigabytes of RAM. Right now, the standard is still 4 on most. So yeah, like I said, some applications need more RAM than others video editing needs more than if you're just checking your email and internet browsing. You know, I said before the average computer has four to eight gigs. Four gigs is plenty for just checking your email and browsing the internet and doing what an average person would do on a computer. Not programming or video editing or any of that. Now RAM is clocked at different speeds. There are different clock speeds like 1333 megahertz which translates to 1.3 gigahertz and there are 1600 megahertz RAM and the fastest I've ever heard of is 1866 megahertz RAM. You know, that's pretty much it for RAM. You get the basic idea of what it is. It's in everyone's computer. You need it to run. And that's pretty much it for today's episode. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you um, know what RAM is now. Don't ask me a bunch of questions that I answered in this video down below because I won't answer them. I'll tell you to watch the video if I know it's in here. I'll see you later. Bye.